unit under attack. Damn it, damn it! <sighs> okay, sorry. Welcome back, Zero K fans. I apologize, but I first turned the microphone on. This is really sudden because these games started before I could get to them. Anyway, God versus Klon. Klon beat Norm. God is, of course, probably going to win. We'll see, though. Klon could actually pull it out. He's. He has 300 elo below God, but it might actually not be too bad. So, Klon going for shield bots. God going for light vehicles. I apologize for having not been speaking then, just then. I imagine some of you will never forgive me for that. And. But it? why no Bithmex grabs? Why is that top test to speech? Okay, anyway. God coming in with slashers to the south. This is what I was looking for. Slashers are coming to the south, and slashers are going to be fairly effective here. Slashers are going to be fairly effective here, and that is really until. Not enough bandits get up. The thing is, slashers, like I said before, are mobile defenders, effectively. You can put them near your opponent's base, and it works out pretty well. But the roaches, however, not doing anything. The slasher in a great position to deal with that roach and to stop it from killing anything. And enough scorchers actually as support. This is good. This is what God needs. He, I'm sure he wouldn't be silly enough just to have slashers on its own. Because the slashers on their own will just die if they're approached too closely. Now, Clone does have a battle comp, Riot Cannon E Cell, but that is not going to matter. So there goes most of Clone's energy, actually. actually. All of. All of Clone's energy income has just been destroyed. Clone has zero Bandit energy Bandit. income. Bandit. And that ends the game as a result. So, sorry, that was kind of short. But anyway, next game will actually come in from the start, so we will be able to see what happens then. So, yeah, as I was saying before. Norm beat Klon. We'll have QB versus Lori after this, but Norm beat Klon, and so God and Klon are fighting. God just won game one, so we will move on to game two pretty much now. Welcome back, Zero K fans. Game two of Klon versus God. This match is going to be on Titan Duel, and sorry about the last match. It, I got in a bit late. They started right as the match of QB and. And the sponge was finishing, or rather, drone and banana was finishing up. So, and we go versus Klon. That is one of the semifinals matches. The first semifinals match to point out. And then after that, we go to quarterfinals with QB versus Lori, and then FX versus Drone. Sorry, FX Drone versus QB or Lori, the winner of that. And over, we're on to God versus Klon. So Titan Duel. We've seen this map several times. Klon very quickly going for Tank Factory, and God going for the Light Vehicle Factory. Now Titan Duel, being that it is a flat map and a big map. It is common to go for light vehicles, for any sort of vehicles. That is not at all uncommon. It's a little less common to go for tanks. They're a bit harder to make work well, but early Panthers coming in from Klon. He really wants to push those Panthers. They are very powerful units in this patch. They're possibly overpowered. It's a bit of a point of debate right now in the community is whether or not Panthers are overpowered because they are powerful. No denying that. They have a lot of power. They can easily deal with larger units. However, with a large number of small units, they do get overwhelmed, so it's possible that enough darts or enough scorchers would be able to finish them off pretty effectively, but the thing is, they do stun. They don't have really any splash, as far as I can tell. No splash is listed, so presumably no splash is there, and I haven't noticed them having any splash. This dart going down with the second dart, actually, both darts able to deal a lot of damage. God doing a wonderful harassment job here, and at the same time, he is building up more darts to continue harassment, not quite able to get rid of... No, able to get rid of the mechs. Nicely done with a second dart coming in from the west. And that is all the metal extractors. Klon is now only got one metal extractor compared to God's three. And God building up, as well as E-Cell, building up a bunch of power plants, solar plants. And getting Scorchers and darts as well. So God doing a great job setting himself up very quickly. While Klon, on the other hand, has been held back a bit. And especially as heavy tanks, that is particularly painful. Because heavy tanks need a lot of resources. While God, on the other hand, is just sending in more and more darts to harass. And there is a defender that will get rid of three of the darts, I think. Let's see. 105 damage. That should be enough to get rid of... No, not quite. It'll get rid of two of the darts. Or nearly get rid of two of the darts. 
And the Panther itself is not in position to get rid of the darts. It does one-shot them, but the thing is, they need to actually be in range of the Panther. So right now, God could go in for the harassment. He doesn't appear to be going for it right yet, though. But he probably will be. And as it comes in, these darts are ignoring the Panther, but it looks like right now they're actually going to go for it. Not sure. The Panther is definitely getting into range of them. No, they are avoiding the Panther. That is probably wisest. The Panther will one-shot... No, they're going for it. They are going for it. The Panther will one-shot it, but... One shot at a time, that's possible for the darts to get through that. The darts don't deal a huge amount of damage. It's 55 damage a second against the Panther's 1050 health. Actually, with this many darts, it could work. You only got about 8 darts here. And that might work, but really the better option, what, what God is taking, is to simply ignore the Panther entirely. Or he was, anyway, but now he's going for it. He is going straight for it, getting all the darts into position with the Scorcher, and the Scorcher will finish off. That, while well, the darts use a distraction, nicely done, only losing two darts in the process. Now, the laser, on the other hand, that's going to be harder to deal with. The Scorcher could sort of help by tanking for it, but not by much. And God is going very dart heavy, very focused on this defense. And it looks like it doesn't really matter, though. Sorry, very focused on offense. I'm not saying defense. He's not focused on defense at all. Klon is, however, focused on defense, but even then, not a whole lot. And the Scorcher and darts are just able to take care of everything here. The Panther trying to do what he can, actually missing in one shot. You just need to realize the Panther's good miss. But apparently they can, and more darts coming in from behind to finish this off, get rid of the power plants. I mean, God is just streaming out darts. Very quickly getting rid of everything that Klon has built up. At this point, it's actually commendable that Klon has kept his economy fairly close to God's this entire time. He has been losing a lot of metal extractors, but he's still at 13 metal income. Admittedly, he is playing heavy tanks, so it's harder for him to make that pay off effectively, but... Still, that is not bad, given how much harassment he has. Now, God's up to 18. He has been expanding across the entire map as he's been doing this. Very continuously expanding as he's been harassing, which is exactly what you need to do. I mean, really, if you want to know how to play 0k, just watch how God plays several times over just to get... It, it really comes down to knowing the fundamentals of the game. You can't just copy what God does exactly, because what God does is largely adapt. But getting an idea of how he's thinking about what he's doing is not a bad thing to do. Anyway, it looks like Klon trying to attack head-on. Once again, going to lose his Panthers. This Kodachi, however, could be a bit more effective. Because it can burn up quite a few of them. It has enough, not quite splash, but the burn lasts for long enough that the Darts might drive through it and die. And God has switched over to building up primarily Scorchers from Darts. And at the same time, Klon continuing to go for Panthers, pretty much. Pure Panther, and Klon continuing to build himself up. He's actually not doing too badly. Getting... A bit of an eye on what God is up to. Able to get rid of one of the laser turrets. Not for free, though. His Kodachi taking a lot of damage. It won't... It will die! Actually, it's being surrounded and will die to the darts. Not the most effective use of a Kodachi, I'm afraid. I mean, he does know what's there, but he doesn't have a whole lot of units to follow up to it. The thing with Heavy Tank, it's very difficult to make that whole work. I'm actually a bit surprised how, how many defenses he's built. He hasn't built a whole lot of defenses, which... Heavy Tank Light Vehicle might be useful. And at the same time, God actually has built a lot of defenses, which... I say it's useful because Heavy Tank, it takes them a while to get a lot of attacking forces. They don't have a lot of really light forces, especially compared to what vehicles have. And Panther is starting to get overwhelmed by the darts, able to get rid of some of them. But like I said, there's so many darts here. There are, well, there's eight darts here, but on top of the Scorchers, already taking a lot of damage. Actually, you lost a Panther from all that, I think. Yeah, you lost one Panther quite decisively. And the other Panthers really just have to worry about the fact that the darts can go wherever they please. Whatever they want to do, they can do. And those Panthers have hardly anything they can say to it. And Scorchers, however, are much more important. They are going to tank this out. And at this point, God has enough production that he can produce Scorchers possibly as quickly as he could darts, actually. No, not quite. He needs, a, he needs another Caretaker to do that. Actually, he needs a Caretaker in order to have that pull off. But at the same time, God is building up quite a lot around the map, getting more and more economy being built up. All the way around the map. He is starting to excess metal, though. There's the Caretaker. Okay. Now he has a Caretaker being built up. That'll work out fairly effectively. And God is going for harassment. Trying to get rid of this Kodachi. It's going to be a bit tricky to pull off. I mean, the Kodachi will have a fair amount of damage dealt by it. Getting Actually, setting a lot of God's troops on fire. Getting rid of a lot of the darts. The Scorchers, however, are the main meat now. The darts are hardly being used at all. And Klon's about to use his, lose his commander once again. That kills most of the Scorchers. The only mercy that Klon has when it comes to that whole attack is that his Panthers are now not outnumbered. At least, not for the next two seconds. <laughs> they pretty much are now, but 
Still, a small mercy, but losing his commander, that's most of his energy economy. He has 11 energy left. 27 metal, 11 energy. He's hardly going to be able to produce anything. And once again, he's being outnumbered. That caretaker is done building up another caretaker, but once that's finished, it's going to be very difficult for Klon to not be outnumbered. Doing what he can with the Panthers, and actually not doing a terrible job stopping the Scorchers pretty effectively, too. The Scorchers can't... The Scorchers do not deal well with being kited, but even being kited, they're still able to get rid of the Panthers without much issue. Yeah, Scorchers, like I said before, they deal most damage at close range, but even then, even then, it's not enough. That is not going to do it. It's going to be... Actually, I'm going to drop the volume a little bit. Even then, it's not going to be that big. It's just... Klein has thrown the towel. That is game. And that's... That is the semifinals match. That was a really short semifinals. Sheesh. Also, I reiterate my previous points. I am sorry. I am sorry, Klon. But now we'll be on to Kyube versus Lori pretty soon. Not sure where they are, though. Probably haven't started the game without me, but yeah. Kyube versus Lori will be the next one to be played after this. And... No, they haven't started without me. That will be quarterfinals match, and with this we have so semifinals. God's going off to finals, as is a surprise to nobody. FX Drone will be fighting the winner of QB versus Lori, which is what we're going to be watching next. And then from there, we'll have the loser of that, Klon versus whoever loses FX Drone versus Lori and QB, will be fighting for third place. Hopefully we'll be able to do that first before the finals, but we'll see. Anyway... That is going to be that. So thank you for whoops, that. Thank you for watching and I will be back shortly, so stay tuned.